Working Party 29 very much welcomes the communication. Um, many suggestions of the Working Party laid down in the so-called future of privacy opinion have been taken on board. But for the sake of the discussion, I highlight points where I feel more ambition is needed. First, data subject, the effect on citizens, is in the end what the outcome of the exercise should be. Uh, are, they, are they better off with the new legislative proposal than they're off with the directive right now? And I see that increased transparency, yes, is needed, as is the necessity to get a little deeper into the concept of consent. Working party is asked to deliver an opinion on that, and, and we will do so in the, in the forthcoming months. But uh, to start with a disclaimer, usually you end with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, sh give you some personal comments on, on, on these two that I didn't uh, share yet with, uh, within the uh, working party. I am very hesitant if increased transparency and consent, however vital these concepts remain, will in the end suffice. Dutch research on the question in how many databases personal data of an average person are found in this part of the world has as an outcome that it might be as much as 1,000 or 1,500 databases. Transparency? Consent? It would take me two days a week in order to get behind what's going there. So taken into account the technological innovation that multiply the possibilities of collection and use of these data, taken into account the fact that the way IT is working and what it can do for non-IT specialists is simply too difficult to understand, I doubt whether transparency and consent and therefore the role of data subject in data protection will or can be the most important one. To defend this fundamental right, much more than that is needed. And I'll give five, thing, five thoughts that partly, by the way, are uh, uh, shared by the, by the working party uh, as, as such, I think, m m all of them. First of all, class action becomes a necessity. Also because, generally spoken, infringements of data protection rules for data subject isn't easily translated in loss of money. So to go to court as an individual because of an infringement of one of your fundamental rights probably will cost too much and is a risky thing to do. You need class actions in that respect. Second, glad that Mr. Selmayr is talking about that the need for one comprehensive framework, including the former third pillar, fully translate the Lisbon Treaty into reality is also needed. The new legislative proposal should be the Lex Generalis, get rid of the patchwork that we have uh, historically, by the way, justified, <coughs> made out of it. Um, maybe also in the end one supervision uh, uh, situation. And I think that apart from the words Mr. Selmayr just uh, 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 mentioned, if you look at the communication, I would think um, a tougher wording uh, would have been welcome as far as I'm concerned. Thirdly, strengthening of the duty of controllers to ensure compliance is absolutely needed. There's good elements in the communication, no doubt about it, but also there, stronger la language would be welcome and needed. Statutory accountability principle, privacy by design, privacy by default, not merely to be promoted, as the communication currently says, but go further in that direction. <coughs> 